Hello, Henry Force here, going into the next one. We're gonna race the trucks. Loosen her up. Let's race it, see how she does. Clear out, hammer down. Not gonna lie, looks like a nice truck. Nice Chevrolet. Love my Chevys. Hendrick fan. Love my show. This truck is amazing. I already got the practice lap they wanted me to do. I'm gonna go with it then. The truck's amazing. I can't really do much to it anyway. It's perfect. It's as good as it's gonna get. So about 50 laps worth of fuel in this thing. During this session, I'm gonna try to get a feel of how quick the tire's gonna wear down and how long it's gonna take to wear them down versus fuel. That was just my warm up lap. This one was supposed to be the fastest, let's so see if it's faster then. Yeah, it was faster. Alright. Fancy to the second one. I should hope so. I did everything I could in that one. I probably could adjust it a little bit. Nah, I'm just gonna go with it. Because it, it was running fine. That was the backup. I probably could just adjust it during my pit stops.
like I get these tires warmed up to at least 150, so I'm gonna do really good in the uh, Ride the outside ish. Anywhere in the middle will do. There we go, outside. Oh, that ain't gonna help. Actually, very well might help. Sometimes hitting the side like that does help a little bit. We'll see. Alright, I already see any adjustment. I'm a little too tight. And I probably could put five more tape on the nose. This ain't working out well at all. I shifted down apparently a little too fast. I'm not used to trucks. Let's try 45 tape, loosen this thing up a lot more. Um, adjust the tire pressure, one pound up, half, about that much down. Let's go with it, see what happens. If I have to, I'll just adjust the pad. See how much damage it actually repairs. All of it. I saw him, I just didn't think he was going to go that long. Hi, I'm already here. <laughs> right now, real estate. I already see a problem. I need to adjust it even more looser. I did what I needed to do though. So I obviously made it faster. Is it getting too hot? My goal is to keep it under 240. If it goes over 240, it's too hot. Too much tape. Hopefully it's stabilized at two. No, it's still going up. I'm gonna have to take five off. Oh, it let down a degree. I might got it perfect. My tires are wearing about what I want it to. Do I adjust it? The right side would wear a little bit faster than it normally would anyway. So if I have to right side tires, it would be more efficient. That was the idea. It's staying under two... It's sometimes going down a degree to 236, so I've got the right amount of tape. 
I'm obviously very fast with this amount of tape on the grill and the setup I got. Loose, loose. Exactly the way I wanted it. If you're not borderline spinning out every lap, then it's good. It's getting looser as I drive. Good feedback. I'm gonna have to fix it. It's getting looser as I drive. So it's gonna be worse in the long runs. One more lap to make sure. Yeah, it's getting a lot looser, which is good and bad. See how it wants to spin me out every lap at the end on the exit? So I'm a little loose on the exit. Okay, I'm very loose on the exit, I'm being modest. I'm about perfect in the center and going in on the exit. This thing wants to go somewhere other than straight. Last lap. Yeah. That probably would have been a good one if I didn't do that. Going in for a slight adjustment, because both laps are ruined now. Tape is okay. I think it's going to be just enough tape. But I need to adjust the tire pressures a little bit, take a little bit out of the right rear, take a little bit out of all the tires, and see how it goes. You think? No shit, Sherlock. I locked him up. I should have practiced more getting on the pit road. In this case is a green flag stop. One, let's put this down to 51. Go down to 50. Uh, go down to 51. And go down to 20. We'll just do 90. That's good. I'm gonna go with it. That might make it too tight, but we'll see. It might actually make it too tight. I might have just ruined the car. But. Well, some people like it that tight. I like it very loose. Loose as fast. I probably fixed it. Oh, we have a minute to find out. That's like exactly one lap. I can't tell because it got looser as the run ran on. This car likes the middle, I know that much already. With this setup, the car likes the middle. I'll try the bottom, see if there's much of a difference. It can hug the bottom, but it likes the middle. I cannot touch the steering wheel going off a turn. That's pretty fast. I don't think I made it any worse. Might be able to get another lap out of this. Yep. That's what I was afraid of. Dang. Go, go, go. It's good in the short term. It was a good call yeah, finding the car.
If I have enough time, if I make the goal, I'll do one more pit stop. Yeah, 33668. Truck's definitely tighter. I did make it too tight. I can't do my curve in, curve out technique. I'll try one more lap and then I'm gonna have to do a slight adjustment if it doesn't do good. Bumping the side like that will do, help it a little bit. I did it right there, so obviously, you know, it still wasn't slow even though I tapped the side. Just barely love tapped it, didn't even do any damage. 100, 100, 99, yeah. It's definitely a middle type car. It can go to the bottom, then it has loose on exit, which is gonna cause me to hit the wall or go in the infield. That's plenty fast. That's the second fast thing they want me to do. Just gonna go with it. So I'm gonna start ninth. My goal is 25th, so I think I'm well within where they want me to finish here. It's gonna be a long race. Buckle up, guys. It's a full race, so I might have to split it in two segments. PS5 only lets you record 4K for an hour. Trying to block me, dude. That's gonna get you in the wall. Now you're not on purpose, so he's gonna pay me back now. He got me. In the draft, this car is literally. This truck, I mean, is a literally a top three truck in the draft. Dude, that one wasn't a payback enough. Oh, he's draft partnering me. Loose, loose. I saved it just barely. I it was almost unsavable. I don't even know how I saved it. I tell you, did whatever I had to do to save it at that point. Hot tires, I'm presuming. Yes, Careful, hot tires. Hot right front. Careful. That's my biggest enemy is hot tires. Yeah, that right front is getting really hot compared to the others. So that's definitely what did it, because I felt it tug to the right. Like I lost a ton of grip going into that turn. It's getting about 250 average on that right front if I go too hard. So I got to take it easy. I lowered the tire pressure. It's maybe a little too much in the right front. As long as I'm under 250, I think it'll be fine. Just gotta keep an eye on it. Not fast on the high side. Faster on the bottom, but it feels better on the outside. I'm catching up on straightaway though, so ain't like that's a total waste going in the middle. I am. The leader's fast. Oh, I don't think I put it on 
Oh yeah, this is gonna be old style race, no segments. They're all gonna be green flag stops unless there's cautions. And I've been relaxed, so. You got room, you're clear. Which means I'm gonna have to make sure I slow down every time I'm going pit road to 45. That one time I wrecked practically, I didn't hit the wall, but it's close. And locked them up. This car's pretty fast, I'm gonna catch a leader. Here, kitty kitty. It's getting better. I might have fixed the handling going into the long run. Let's see. Hopefully it gets better and not worse again. I think the secret is the middle in the long run. So if I go on the inside, it's tail happy exiting. Here, kitty kitty. I'm in my own zip code. I'm a second ahead of me and a second behind me. It's getting a little tail happy. I might be overheating that tire trying to catch him. Oh, I am. It's, it was a way in the 270, it looks like. I'm wearing down my tires trying to catch this guy. And then I'm catching him, but he might be saving his tires too, because it's going to be a long race. I might have to pit three times. So I'm going to take it easy on my tires too a little bit. off the gas a little bit going into the turn roll it in here kid kitty might be able to pass him in the middle if he stays on the bottom nope he's gonna go right where I want to go Give him a little playful nudge going in. Go to the bottom. Still there. Do a bump and run. All right, you're clear. Did it with a bump and run. He had no chance because I made him loose going into the turn. He had to take high side. And keep it straight. Little tap and take the nose off the tail. He had no ability to go down to the bottom. Got a little bit of damage on the front bus because I bumped and run them into the corner. Not enough to hurt We're nothing really. Around. Just 97%. Oil temperature is at 230. I really don't want to put any more tape on that. 5% tape could be the death of this car. This car is sticking wherever I want it almost now. As long as I keep those temperatures down. I might want to start saving gas, I'm not sure yet. Still there. If I get a big enough lead, I'll start saving gas too. Now I need to wait to see if other people are going to pit. I got good tires. I mean 8%. Oh, they're all pitting. From 18th back, they're pitting. I kind of don't want to pit, but I'm going to have to pit, ain't I? I came back. 
have to field pit him. Since I have such a lead, I should be able to pit, take four tires, and not lose a position. Gotta take four tires of fuel, four tires of fuel. I'm gonna up the tape a little bit, loosen it up just a tad. Oh, I didn't get to do it. That's okay. No one else pitted around me, so it's not that big of a deal. I kind of want to pit under green anyway. I feel like I was being pressured to pit by half the field pitting. But I have 16 cars in between me and them, so... And I'm digging these stuff. See stuff, so I'm doing all right. My record is 32, 163, but my best first race is 32, 212. So I'm gonna go with the 32, 212 number and see how I do the next lap. That's 3272, so that's pretty close to my fastest lap. Oh. Never mind. My bad. It's 32, not 35. And that was my... I just got on the restart, so... I did fastest lap there, something was wrong. Let's see why I get this lap. Hmm. Maybe... My tires aren't the best. But I'm about a second off the pace. Slap 20. I'm gonna have to pit by at least slap 55. I'm gonna try saving some fuel once I get a bigger lead. If I get a bigger lead. I'm trying to keep my oil pressure below 240, that's the goal. I put 5... No, I didn't, because I didn't put it, though. I might be able to put 5% more tape on it. Now I'll increase my speed a little bit more. I want my tires to wear down to about at least 25% before I even think about pitting the tires. I generally do a little bit better on long runs compared to the AI, so... I mean, it's just almost a second off the pace. It's not terrible. And they're at 75%, so... And the car's handling okay, I am breaking away. So I'm just hoping that all those 18 cars behind that pitted get to the front. Because then they could probably run me down. I'm going to try doing this in the two pit stops if there's no more cautions. Pit at lap like 53 and then pit at like 106 and that should give me really good tires for the rest of the race. This is ridiculous. This car is pretty fast. I just realized it's my 97 truck. I like the 97 number. It's pretty cool and that many people use it. I don't think there's any active drivers I know that use it, so... Kind of like how Kurt Busch used it and won a championship in it. Maybe that's 97. I hope so.
And that no one uses that anymore. Less than a second, that's 7 tenths, so that's not terrible. 7 tenths slower than my fresh tires earlier, it's not bad. So I might actually be getting faster in the long run. Which is generally how I tune my trucks. And cars. Hell yeah, four tenths. Good, the tires cool a little bit because they're feeling a little slick. Ran a hard lap there. Just gotta cool them down. Averaging around 250 in the center. On the front. Right. That jelly means your truck is tight when your right front drains quicker than your right rear. I know it's a little tight, I can feel it. The nose wants to go towards the wall more than the, the tail. You can feel it jiggling towards the wall in the front. You can see it. Well, I'm okay with it. It's still fast. I don't want to spin out like I did in practice, so I'll take a little tightness versus loosens. I could definitely get away with left side tires if I needed to. Just do right. Ooh, he blocked me hard there. All right, you're clear. There's only 27 trucks on the racetrack now. I feel like at one time there was like 36. I don't know why. Oh, there's 30 seconds. Never mind. Twenty-three laps of fuel. Twenty-three laps of fuel. I'm gonna make sure I use every one of those twenty-three laps. I might even try saving fuel with twenty laps into the run to go. That's my goal. Damn. Well, that puts a a strain on my. Wow. Well, at least everyone's pitting the couple. Going with it. Put a little bit of tape on because I think she can handle it. If she can't, then I'm going to have to do an early pit. Which would really suck. I said the bottom was clear, I went for it and I ended up doing a lot of nose damage clear. here. All clear. This track relies a lot on aerodynamics, so I might as well have took that tape and chucked it out the window. Hopefully the cars that didn't pit slow down the cars that did a little bit and I could get a huge breakaway here. Nope, they're catching me. The cars that pit are catching me. Uh, I'm better in the long runs. I might have to do two stops, though. Unless I could save 13 laps of fuel. That's going to be difficult. Not impossible, but might be 
not worth it. I could coast around this track a lot, but doesn't mean I'm gonna be fast doing it. I might not even be able to hold on to a lead. My car, my truck's not fast with four tires. I mean, not fast with new tires. That was like a fifth place truck in the beginning, I think. You're gonna use those fresh tires and try beating me. Fresh tires stay in the bottom. They saw how fast I was before and they don't want to let me go now. Oil temperature staying reasonable. I have pretty much lost the benefits of the tape when I lost 2% arrow though. I could save like, I believe 13 laps I said worth of fuel, I could do it in one pit stop. But the chances are there'll be another caution, and it'll ruin my entire chances. This car's getting loose again. Might be the 5% arrow, might be... I mean, it might be the 2% arrow, it might be the 5% tape. I did do a slight adjustment in casting the tank, I don't remember. Something I did made it a little do sexy in the But all temperatures are still reasonable. Yeah, do sexy. I had to see it on a different camera to make sure how bad it is. Pretty bad. Which means I'm naturally going to want to run higher. Save on the tires. Make it easy to exit. Still a little loose exiting. Even in the middle. How's the tires look? It still says I'm tight though. That it's 84 on the right front, 89 on the back, so I'm still technically tight. If I was loose, I'd be wearing more in the back, a lot more, in the back right. Yeah, it's not getting hot either, so my front end is tailing towards the wall still technically. I do feel tight at entering, I feel loose off, so that's probably why it's, it's wearing down so much in the front, because it's tight entering. And that makes a lot of sense, because tight, 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 loose, super loose right here. But. Really, dude? Well, my left side tires are cool now. Had to let off the gas to make sure they warm back up and now slide into the wall.
for the indifferent temperatures here. Still there. Still there on the bottom. Slap as many of these cars as I can. Lapping like anything after 20 would be ideal because that means as long as I finish this race, I'm staying to leave that, I'll meet my You're goal of 25 up there. There's 25. Very good. 24. So even if the caution comes out now, 25th will stay lap down. There's 23rd. Stop blocking me. Arrow is still the same 2%. Just keep eyeing those tires. 250s is when it starts getting really slick off. Cool. And the middle lane seems to not make them as hot. It saves a lot on the tires if you see the temperatures. They don't even come close to 250. Oop. I saved it. I don't know what happened there. Just start getting very terrible happy at the exit. Didn't really hurt anything. I left the gas, a little no, ting. Nothing All hurt the aerodynamics. Full damage is on, so. The only reason my aerodynamics is off by two because I did a bumper run. Exiting. I kept it though. 33 laps worth of fuel. I'm gonna run it all the way to the end and if it stays green I'm gonna try conserving and if I have to I'll do a splash and go. Four tires is crucial though to that strategy. Might do right because these tires are lasting a while on the left side. It'd be very risky, but if it plays out, I'll at least slap the field if the caution comes out. Ooh, he might blow an engine. Truck does really good on the long runs. The first 10 laps or so, if I could check out or at least stay ahead of the leader, I will check out. First 10 laps, the leader could pass me and it could be all over if I don't get that clean area. Right side tires might be the way to go. I got that left rear at 84, this late in the run. If it's above 50, 8-ish, I'm both, I might take right and see how it does. Might be a caution anyway, eventually. Might have to, not have to do that, but we'll see. If I could like catch second place, which I highly doubt is going to happen. Ooh. Got tight, it would not turn. I would lay off the gas and just let her roll. Just 
69 on the right front. It's definitely feeling like a 69 on the right front. Definitely want to stay in that bottom one lane from the top. Uh, one lane from the bottom seems to be working good with this worn tire. It likes anywhere in the middle, but if I go too low, it doesn't work out. If I go too high, definitely doesn't work out. Pulling my breath. I'm lapping tent, I'm lapping tent, I'm lapping tent. Are you really gonna put the boot on me? I mean, are you gonna literally block me that bad? Not the boot. Boot means you're like pushing me out of the way. The left side hardly wears down. Are you serious right now? I was really hoping for a green stop because now I have to stop again no matter what. Or if I wait another 26 laps, it would have been closer. I'm gonna go with it. I gotta. It's not terrible. Why did I lose two spots? Someone took right side tires. Early shifted. Late shifted. Made up for it there. I gave him the boot and I'm hugging the bottom. I gave him the boot and I'm hugging the bottom. I cleared him. He had a bad restart just like me, but I made up for it by shifting late. Somehow it made me a little faster. If you do it right, sometimes you can. Alright, now I need to keep it because if I can keep the lead long enough, they'll fall back. And get tight. I couldn't hold it. If I was going to keep it off the wall, I'd let off the gas. If this is a long run, I'll be fine. I'll get him back. I highly doubt this thing's gonna stay green, but if it does, I'll do a stop and go with fuel. I'll probably get one can of fuel and just go. If I need to, I can make a small chassis adjustment. I don't think it'll affect anything. Very fast. For now. This car definitely likes the long runs. Sometimes I feel like the AI just can't handle the tires getting worn. As good as I can. So I just gotta keep up with them. Hello. Gonna try. Still there. No shit, sure a lot. Whoa. Must overheat the tires trying to keep up with them. Yeah, they definitely were hot.
These trucks are faster than me. The only thing keeping me with the second guy is because I'm drafting them. But when their tires taper off and I'm better at driving with them, I'll get them. Trying to get me loose and it's working. Here, kitty, kitty. Just you and me now. I'm running you down. Got your draft. Don't have enough in it yet to go run on the outside. I'll do a run him, run him into the turn. Not gonna work. He has too much there. Inside might work. Halo, Halo. It worked. All right, you're clear. You got a fuel run and a half to go. Yellow flag. Dang it. Are you serious, dude? What are causing the cautions? They should show you if you don't know. Might as well pit when this going to be fed. Tires, I think now. Might be able to pass on the outside. Careful, still there. All clear. Shit, got tires, buddy. Careful, still there. Go stick, push it hard. Farther on the inside. See how much four tires All does? Clear. Now I'm just worried about the other trucks that got four tires on me, but... That's probably one of them. He's passed them on the outside like I did. Yeah, that's definitely one of them. Tire fuel run at a quarter left. I'm almost at the end of this video because PS4 only lets you record an hour in 4K. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it here.
and the 